Ready, Coach. Okay. Uh, well, it was great to, to get a win like that. It's nice to have a, a low-stress day. Um, proud of our guys. I thought we got a lot better in a lot of areas. Um, it's always nice when you get to play um, a lot of your roster, too, you know, for growth. And, and for some of the walk-on guys, that you know, it's hard to get to some of those guys in the game at time, at times. Um, but with our starting unit, you know, I was proud of the way Devin played. He was responsible for six touchdowns, which I was just told tied a record at NC State. Um, proud of Colin Smith on the way he kicked off for us today. It was a, a huge area that we needed to improve, and he did a great job there. I thought Thayer did some good things, you know, uh, returning punts. Uh, it was good to see Chris Dunn, you know, in a groove. But, you know, overall, I thought the guys came out uh, very focused. Um, Weather didn't, you know, disrupt anything. We were physical in the run game. You know, defensively had to defend a lot of kind of weird things, I guess, a lot of empty formations and motions that they didn't show on tape. But uh, I thought the guys, you know, managed that well. You know, it was good to see um, the takeaways, three takeaways on defense. And all in all, you know, solid day. I appreciate the fans uh, that stayed, you know, the entire game, you know, didn't let the rain bother you. And we appreciate that. That, that means a lot to our players. and. Appreciate you guys being who you are. I know sometimes uh, the weather can drive people out of there, but you know it's good to see so many people stick around and, and be a part of that experience. So look forward to moving forward. You know we came out of the game very healthy, which is always another plus, and we're able to rest a couple guys. Uh, you know Peyton and, and Shy didn't play, but they'll be fine next week. So feel good about the health of the roster coming out of the second week here. Questions. Raise your hand if you have a question for Coach. Oh, there we go. David Thompson, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Uh, congrats on the win. Uh, I noticed that Tim Beck was calling plays from up in the booth instead of on the sidelines. Is that something uh, we should expect for the rest of the season or just a one-game thing? No. Um, you know, we felt like last year at times, um, there's just some things, you know, offensively that, when you're not getting information the way you want it all the time, so as fast as you want it, you know, you don't see things on the field. It's hard to call plays on the field. Um, I remember being a coordinator and I was on the field and then went back upstairs because uh, I could see better. And it's frustrating when you come in on Sunday and you watch the film and you're like, man, if I would have saw that, I would have done something different. And had another conversation like that after the last game. I just said, that's enough. I'm not going to hear that anymore. Um, so for him to be able to make the checks and audibles the way he wants from the press box, I think he's just got better eyes up there. Um, you know, we feel good about Coach Roper being on the field. He's obviously coached quarterbacks a long time. So having him down where he can talk to Devin on the field helps. Were, were you happy with the results of, of Tim's and his play calling from upstairs? Yeah, there's a lot of feedback. I don't know if people can mic their, their stuff there. Can you say that again, David? Can you hear me? Is that better? Yeah. Um, were you were you happy with with the result of having Tim upstairs? Yeah, I, I think it'll be good to talk about tomorrow and just see, you know, what the difference was for him and if he thought it was better. You know, it feels um, to me like, you know, just the vision you have of the formations and the spacing of where your players are. It's easier for him to make adjustments and do things quicker that way. But we'll see how he feels tomorrow and decide where we're going. Go ahead, Gibby. Yeah, Dave, I think you guys, you said you practiced uh, tackling a little bit more this past week. Were you happy with the tackling? And, and would that be something that you'll continue to do uh, in practice uh, leading into maybe next week and then and on forward? Yeah, we didn't practice tackling more. We just ran to the ball better in practice. So I'm not sure if that was not clearly communicated during the week. But, you know, we, we do spend Tuesday, Wednesday, um, we call it thud, you know, where we're hitting guys at the proper angles and not taking them to the ground. You know, the biggest emphasis was how hard we practiced, the angles that we sprint to the ball. And the guys were a lot uh, more diligent about that. I thought this week in practice, they understood. They were embarrassed, you know, about what they put on film from a tackling standpoint week one. So it's an area of pride for them this week to get better, and it felt like they did. Go ahead, Alec. Yeah, Dave, Tyler Baker Williams had the forced fumble and the interception today, the interception yeah. last week. Just how happy are you with the way that he's kind of started this season hot? Yeah, really excited for Tyler. Um, 
back-to-back series is, you know, to, to force the fumble on the pass rush. We blitzed him. And then the next series to get an interception, it's two picks. And, you know, we felt like you guys know how we feel about him as one of the best DBs in the country and, and uh, definitely a guy that eliminates people slot receivers on a consistent basis. So it's good to see him get some production. A lot of times the ball doesn't go his way. And so I'm happy for T. Bake and we need that. You know, he's a senior. He's a guy that has played a lot of snaps. We need him to be a difference maker and he has been. Go ahead, Chip. Yeah, Coach, you were able to get a lot of guys in the game today, obviously, yeah. and a lot of guys touched the ball on offense, just including Jack, who got his first action. How valuable is that for you moving forward? Yeah, it's really good. You know, it's good from a confidence standpoint for younger players to get in. You know, it helps them when they get in again. They're not nervous. But from the quarterback standpoint, to be able to put uh, both of those guys in and run the offense, not just hand it off, you know, I think is good because – as you know, there's going to be a point in time, you know, where Devin has to come out, you know, whatever it is, helmet comes off, you know, and those guys got to go in in a big game. And, and so it's nice to get those guys minutes. You know, as far as the number of players that played, I don't have a, a count on that, but it was awesome to see some of the younger guys make plays, you know, Julian Gray, Anthony Smith, uh, Delbert Mims had a touchdown, Jalen Coit had a touchdown. You know, some guys that have worked hard and uh, it's good to see those guys get, you know, kind of the reward of all that hard work today. Go ahead, Pat. <clears throat> hey, Dave, what did you think of Devin's playmaking? You know, he broke some tackles on that touchdown run and then really extended a play and made a pretty athletic throw to Anthony Smith there deep on a couple of those throws. Yeah, that's kind of what he did all through fall camp. You know, we were really happy with how he was sliding around the pocket and extending plays. And, you know, I think he uh, kept his eyes downfield and made some things happen. So very happy with what we saw from him today. All right, last question for Coach will come from Evan. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. I just was wondering, Devin had a lot of time in that pocket and he was able to do a good job of finding those explosive plays down the field. Was that something that the offensive line did better at or Devin did better at and kind of protecting him or looking for those plays? Well, it starts with the protection. You know, sometimes there's a tight end and a, and a running back involved as well. But, you know, anytime a guy like Devin has more time to throw, the receivers have more time to get open, good things are going to happen. You know, it wasn't a defense that pressured very much. You know, they, they did blitz him a couple times, but – they didn't play a lot, you know, of, of pressure defenses, and we were able to to manage the four man rush throughout the game and give him time. And you know, there were some shots called by Coach Beck, just some deeper plays down the field, and we took advantage of the coverage a couple times and made some plays. Hey, 